top two players in America in the junior class going head to head. Trey Johnson, Ian Jackson, a pair of five stars doing it out for the right to say they are the best player in the country as Lake Highlands faces Cardinal Hayes. Trey Johnson to see a myriad of different defensive looks from Cardinal Hayes. Coach Ludge is a coach that loves to really deploy many different defensive looks to get you off balance. It's stripped away. Solano put it on the deck, and the little hands come away with it. High off the glass, and good for Jalen Washington. To keep the Wildcats in the buck in the game in that first half, he's an explosive player that you need to corral early on and not let him get loose. Jaden Williams buries the really high in this season. Very explosive athlete, can break down the defense, get to the rim, but you saw him manufacture points by getting into a little rhythm shot. You gotta close out on these jump shooters, not allow them to measure up the rim and knock down jumpers. Ian Jackson hit a tough shot, but right back comes Perkins, a real quick. Each other out. Nice seal off in the painted area by Alexander. And a good drop off there for the lay-in for Owen Zabel just into the game. The pile with it is Jalen Washington. Like we mentioned in the, in the first game, you got to know your personnel. You got a big fella like Steven Solano. Bounce pass or something into his hands. Don't throw it low. Deep triple from Trey Johnson, and it's 20. Him to get the ball. Rotated five different defensive players on him in that first half. And I think Cardinal Hayes is just allowing Trey Johnson to get the basketball too easily. Hey. Nice Quickly pass. up the floor and the flush for Elijah Moore. Exceptional fact. Making plays on the defensive side of the ball. Well, you talk to Coach Joe Duffield, and he's a player that makes things happen on both ends of the court. Up ahead in transition, they get it to Moore. Back oh. to Ian Jackson for the throwdown. So the lead is 16 here for Lake Islands. Number one team in the Texas High School Basketball State rankings in 6A, the largest classification in Texas. Oh. Down the lane, Ian Jackson. Back to back hammers. Lake Highlands basketball to start the second half. It's Johnson on the baseline with the step back triple try and hits it right out of the half to extend the lead to 20. To take what the defense gives you and that was not that shot. Alaton with the offensive board. Whoa. Good move underneath and he beats Solano for two. Al Al or Alaton is showing his ability to score. Jackson, nice move down the lane, tough finish. Be a factor in the second day of play. In fact, Cardinal Hayes played their very first game of the season nice pass. yesterday against Pinkston. Nice look underneath for the layup for Warren Hamilton. Ian Jackson, rise and five. I wonder how long that out of bounds call was borderline. You know, I think Lake Highlands got away with one on that last out of bounds. Nice drive down the lane by Jalen Washington to extend the lead back to 19. And he has the basketball in his hand. He's now got 10 on the day. Four different Wildcats. Ian Delta figures up high, and Alaton met him at the apex. Trey Lewis taking it in. 21. Can you do something? Nope. Can't. Oh, he met the wall, and yeah. that wall is Samson Allerton. Three rattles home for Jaden Williams, and a quick timeout called by Njai. Had to save it back in bounds. Somehow it ends up with Jackson. Three on the way. He got hit. No call. Elijah Moore got knocked across the head. Lewis the with a couple of chances, and he's going to get it to go, plus the foul. Dug in pursuit from the freshman Trey Lewis, and he'll go to the line. The number one player in Texas on his way to UT. And he said he's been so unselfish early on this season as Alaton throws it down, giving the ball up in key spots to his teammates. He said, Coach, they gotta get an, uh, we got to get them an off. Like, right. we got to make something happen for them. He said, it's rare to see that in a kid. And uh, pretty impressive, as was this from Samson Alaton. That's that wee basketball. And again, bringing the defense to you. And then you dime up your big fella. You reward him. Players have to learn once they go to college. There's an expense associated with it, and I think that has been the big barrier to it, is adding that 
feature to all of the gyms across the state. Part I of, agree with you. It's something they should do. Part but of I think we have, that's been the reason. We have seventy million dollar football stadiums. Hey, amen. So, so <laughs> don't let anybody talk to me about an expense. I don't think they're worried about it in Allen, Texas. They might be worried about it in the 1A and 2A programs, but yes, no. Fair point. Listen, you're preaching to the choir. I want one too. 72-55, the final score. Lake High.